you try to launch a program only to receive a system error. The code execution cannot proceed because D3DX9-43DLL was not found. Reinstalling the program may fix the problem. Well, apparently this file is from DirectX 9, which is not installed on your system. Back in the day, this was easily rectified by installing DirectX. However, since Windows 10 and above, it's impossible to install DirectX, at least the traditional way. Since in Windows 10 and Windows 11, DirectX 12 is built directly into the system and is only updated through Windows Update. You cannot just install it. That said, you can still install some runtime libraries for older DirectX, that is DirectX 9, DirectX 10 and DirectX 11 in Windows 10 and Windows 11. There are two packages on Microsoft website the first one is a web installer, which is a very small file, and the reason for this is that it downloads everything it needs from the internet, from Microsoft website, and the second one is a DirectX redistributable, basically it's the same thing but the full package. So it is significantly larger in size and has everything inside it, so it does not connect to the internet. But essentially these two installers are the same thing that try to install DirectX SDK on your Windows PC. The problem is, when you run either of them in the latest build of Windows 11, you get an error. An internal system error occurred, please refer to the log files in your Windows folder to determine the problem. The only difference between the two packages is that the web installer throws this error right away, while the full package tries to install something but still throws the same error at the very end. If you try to search for a solution to this problem online, apart from the tiresome copy-pasted things like run this program as administrator, install Windows updates, and also there is another great advice to install Visual C redistributables, which is a completely different thing, and the problem is they are already installed, all of them, and things like that, you may come across an actually decent advice. It has to do with the flavor of Windows that you have installed. The problem is there are two specific versions of Windows, that is K and N, which lack media features and the Microsoft browser, and basically the only reason they exist is that Microsoft was forced by European regulators to have them. Anyway, these are stripped down versions of Microsoft Windows, but you can actually install the missing features into them. What you need to do is to search for additional features in the new Windows 11 control interface, then click on add features and search for graphic tools. It is indeed not installed on this machine, so you have to tick the box and continue clicking buttons until Windows downloads it. The second thing you need to install here is Microsoft Media Pack. However, when you try to search for media features in the Add Features section, the search returns nothing since here we are actually running a full version of Windows that already includes the Media Features Pack. Anyway, this is how you install it on Windows 11, but on previous builds and versions of Windows, for example on Windows 10, you can also download packages from Microsoft website and install them the usual way if you don't have this new interface. Anyway, it's a nice idea to reboot after this, and apparently it should fix the issue and DirectX SDK will install, but unfortunately it didn't. Maybe it was working in the previous builds of Windows 11, but on the latest build it does not. Another decent advice is to re-enable DirectPlay, which is also a very ancient DirectX component, which is not actually used anymore, so it's a legacy feature. The easiest way to get it back is to go to the classic control panel of Windows, which still exists in the latest build of Windows 11, Go to Add and Remove Programs, then go to Turn Windows Features On or Off, and in the next list, expand Legacy Components and tick Direct Play. Press OK and follow the suggested steps, and Windows will download these Legacy Components. Also notice that the Media Features is actually ticked in this list, that means that they are installed. Reboot your system afterwards, and it should fix this issue and DirectX will install, the only problem is it didn't.
So having exhausted the recommended solutions, the only way to go is a barbaric one. The way Windows works, when it needs a file, the system first looks for this file in the same folder from where you run the executable. So what you need to do is to just download the missing library, in this case d3dx9-43.dll, from any website you trust. I have been using this particular website for at least a decade now and never had a problem. However, you should not trust random people on the internet like me when they want you to download a file and run on your computer, so do your own research and get this file from a source you trust. It actually can already exist on your computer in the folders with some older games, for example, and you can just copy it from there. So all you need to do is to put this DLL file, make sure it's DLL, make sure it is unpacked, so if you have downloaded from somewhere, it will usually be an archive, for example a zip file, make sure you extract it first. So put this DLL file next to the program that wants it and just run it. In this case, it fixed the problem without having to install the SDK, which is a bunch of files anyway, and the program started. This particular DLL file, as well as many others, exists in two flavors, 64-bit version and 32-bit version. If you are not sure, try both. Start with the 64-bit version, and if it doesn't work, replace it with 32-bit version. If in your case it has stopped to beg for that particular file, but started nagging you about some other file, do exactly the same thing. Search the internet or your computer for the required file, place it next to the executable, rinse and repeat until all the required files are in the folder next to the executable, and after that it should run just fine. I am the god of YouTube! Like, subscribe, jingle bells.